Welcome back to Game On. I'm John Sally, and I am here at Universal Studios Hollywood, and we are at the Thing Maze. You know, it looks like a crime scene inside. You remember the movie. Well, anyway, not a better time that we should go check out my visit to the set of one of my favorite shows and hit TV shows, Criminal Minds. How'd it go? It took a while, but Grandma's alibi checked out. She was with two lady friends in Seneca, other side of the state. Acquaintances, relatives, teachers. So far, they've all checked out. This is starting to look more and more like a stranger abduction. Tell me this life, this life working on Criminal Minds. This is, this is it. This it's a is hot it. show. It's sweet. Yeah, it's you know it's what I was looking for too. I mean, I'd spent. I don't have to tell you about tra traveling. You know, right. I mean, being the life you, you, especially with basketball, where you're constantly moving, and that's how it was with the movie business. And you're going here, there, everywhere, which was great. I loved it, but I was looking for something, a little stability, a little hey, you know, where I can hang around for nine, ten months out of the year, know where I'm going, work with the same people. Mm -hmm. You know, kind of like a team, very much like a, a sports team. And I found it here. Man, I'm on the set of Criminal Minds. I ain't gonna lie, it's gonna be real hard to have like a civilized conversation with you, like professional and I stuff, know. because I know you're in the streets. Thank I'm you just very saying, much. I mean, I ain't gonna put your business out there, but, but you my homie. Right I mean, but I'm no, but I'm gonna support you because you know you're trying to, you know, stay large. You know, you just stay working. I'm Basketball was working. enough. No, you know, it's not. six rings, how many rings? Four. Four rings, not enough. They were like, well, we can bring over this guy. I was like, yeah, bring over the, the dudes later who's gonna ask me about sports. I wanna get the beautiful women who really make the show worthwhile. Thank you. Now, uh, Tell me about sports. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is what's about sports. It's um, a whole lot of savages running into one another, drinking beer. That's Swear my house on the weekend, and there's not an athlete there. <laughs> and look, you're wearing a New York Jets shirt? I had to. It's my team. I had to. I couldn't resist. AJ, you know nothing about football. I do. You know what? I, we need some people in here that know me. I do know sports. You know and nothing I know we're not going to get into sports nothing right now. about football. Yes, I do. I do. I'm you one of those. You just think Sanchez is cute. That's why you're wearing No, no, shirt. no. I have been a fan of this team I'm back when they this. sucked. I'm a people person. I'm only child, you know, but I, you know, so I'm real cool being by myself. I'm real independent. Um, I actually am my most focused when I'm by myself. People don't know me to be by myself because when they come to my parties, There's they a lot think of women there. Okay, hey, hey. So, you know, this is a family Did show. Did I say that? But okay, you know what, though? You should say it louder because if you go on the Internet, they've been trying to make me gay my whole career. And I have nothing against gay people, nothing at all. My godfather was gay, died of AIDS. I, one of my dearest friends is gay. I have nothing. But I'm so I like women. And I'm not married. And a lot of I'm them. I'm single. A lot of them at your house. And it's so, so nice how your house turns into a place for wayward women and, and women who get lost in Hollywood and can't find their way. <laughs> and they can just drift over to Shamar's house. Here I come to save the day. <laughs> Did you have to ask you to be in Playboy magazine? Yeah. Uh, when I was on a Showtime show, and the girls, you know, his girlfriends at the yes. time, they watched the show, so I went up, the, he, I was invited up there twice. I went up there and I swam naked in the pool. It was awesome. You swam it's naked fine. at yeah, the Playboy it's mansion. Amazonia up there. Have you been there? <laughs> have I been in the Playboy mansion? Once. See, the women run the show. Yeah. You can't grab on anybody, and so you're, as a woman, you can, you can walk around naked. No one can, they, everyone has to be very nice to you. I didn't walk around naked. I was underwater naked. And, but I did, I, you know, swam out to the front, and you held, I held up tip money, and two gentlemen ran off and got me drinks and brought them back, and I, I swam them back into the grotto, and it was heaven. And so, nicely enough, after that visit to the mansion, and there were other naked people. I wasn't, you know, right. acting mm -hmm. out of turn. I received a letter <laughs> asking me if I would pose naked for uh, Playboy, and at the time... But you did already. I didn't do it. I should have done it. What is the scariest villain in horror film? Clown from it, man. <laughs> <laughs> 